A month into the trial of Michael Jackson's personal doctor and jurors got a crash course on the drug that killed the king of pop. On the top here, I'm going to inject the air. Dr. Stephen Schaefer is an expert witness for the prosecution. He's published numerous scholarly papers on propofol. That's the drug the Los Angeles County coroner says caused Michael Jackson's death in June of 2009. I am asked every day I'm in the operating room, I tell patients what I'm going to do, and I'm asked the question, are you going to give me the drug that killed Michael Jackson? Throughout his testimony, Dr. Schaefer assailed Dr. Conrad Murray's conduct, saying he had no business giving Jackson an anesthetic to help him sleep. Yes is what an employee says. Yes is not what a doctor says to a patient request that is not in their best interest. Schaefer even produced a video of how to properly give a patient propofol, saying it only should happen in an operating room with equipment that can resuscitate a patient. If there is a problem, what do you do? You call for help. Authorities say Jackson's doctor, Conrad Murray, gave the pop legend propofol at home, not at a hospital. When Murray found Jackson not breathing, he desperately tried to revive him with CPR. He later told police that's why he delayed in calling 911. Murray, who's pleaded not guilty to involuntary manslaughter, admits giving Jackson propofol. However, his lawyers say the dose of the drug given to Jackson when he died was too small to cause death. Schaefer is the prosecution's last witness. The defense case could begin by Friday. It's going to be interesting to see what the defense has left to try to show the jury when they start presenting their case. They've abandoned the theory that Michael Jackson swallowed propofol. AP Entertainment writer Anthony McCartney says Murray's case has changed course numerous times. And Defense lawyers say they'll call a colleague of the anesthesiologist who took the stand to counter his testimony. If Murray is convicted, he faces up to four years in prison and the loss of his medical license. John Moan, Associated Press, Los Angeles.